Hey, welcome back to my channel, Crafting with Cami. Today we are creating a double page scrapbook layout. I am still using up some of my Lake Life collection. So I have some of these paddles left. I have some zip strips left. I have a few little scraps here of this pattern paper. So I am going to be creating a double page layout and I'm mostly using scraps for this. I am building my layout on toffee cardstock. I was originally going to use white cardstock, but the papers I'm using are very light and almost kind of a washed color. And so I didn't want my whole layout to just look white and washed out. So I wanted some contrasting colors and Toffee is a coordinating cardstock for this paper collection. Um, and some of the embellishments I'm going to be bringing in are Toffee. So I thought that would kind of ground all of these lighter colors. Let's go ahead and just start with these pieces here since I have them laid out in front of me. This one, I it was um, a six inch piece by 12, but I ended up cutting it in half. So I have two three inch pieces and I thought those could go along the bottom. The, the paddles are facing that direction so I really didn't want them going along the sides. I could go along the top but I just put them down at the bottom for now. And then I thought the zip strips could go across this way. Glacier is also another coordinating color. So I cut some cardstock down. This is six and three quarters by eight and a half. And this one is nine by six and three quarters. So I'm thinking of putting that somewhere up here and then maybe having this tucked behind here. And I want to see that kayak because my photos are of us kayaking. And then I just had some little scraps of this pattern paper. It's the exclusive from the workshop kit. So I thought that would outline these nicely. And then I have the same things for over on this side. So I do want to make sure that I get these lined up so my Versamat will come in handy for that. Pine is also a coordinating color and some of my embellishments are going to be pine. So I'm going to ink around this in pine just to bring in yet another color that I'll be bringing in to my embellishments. I have gotten all of my base pieces adhered. So I left a little bit of a border along here and I left more of one on this side. I thought it would look nice to kind of offset it and not have these two pages completely matched. This one's also longer than this one. These pictures are from when we went kayaking with some friends and we were floating down the river. There were a lot of rapids that we ended up having to get out and pull our kayaks and push our kayaks through. But there were some deeper spots where we could actually float. And then we came across this island and it had a fishing pole in there. So clearly we weren't the first ones on the island. And so we just kind of parked our kayaks. We built some sand castles, just hung out on the island. And we came across, oh, isn't this so cool? It's a bumble bear. And that's what I call my Bernice because she bumbles and she's a bear. And so it was bumble bear beer. And I thought that was really cool. Um, more island pictures and then on the island we found this skull or my husband did so he went for a ride with us his name was rocket and yeah so those were on the island and then we came across this family as we were going through the rapids um, you can see we were up here above those rocks and we were coming down the rapids and this family was there and they like, hand us all a beer and we just ended up hanging out with them for, a, for quite a while. Their little puppy here jumped up on my kayak and I took him for a little ride around this little area and they're over there laughing. And then, um, yeah, we found a floaty and what the river gives you, you have to accept. You can't deny the river's gifts. So we got a magical fr floaty and a flower and our friend was hilarious with that magical floaty. I think he was very feeling very magical. Can you even read that? I know this photo is pretty dark, but yeah. And then my husband with his skull. So <laughs> it was a good time. 
And you may be thinking, well, Cammie, floating down the river, what do fish have to do with that? And I'm so glad you asked. While we were floating, so in one of the deeper spots, not in the rocks, but in one of the deeper spots, a fish, a giant fish, comes out from under my kayak and leaps across my friend's kayak, um, her kayak here. <laughs> so I was next to her and the fish came out from under mine over the top of her, could have landed in her lap, and we were both screeching and laughing. It scared us both, but it was hilarious. So lots of photos. I am going to have two flip flaps. So I am going to put these three in one and then these three over here in one. So this is kind of what I'm thinking for my general layout. I could even add a second mat on these photos because I have more of that blue showing. So I could add a little more pine. Over here, I don't know that I have room for double mats, but I could bring a little bit of pine down here and maybe do a banner. So I'm going to grab some pine cardstock. All right, I got all of the photos adhered. I like how this brought the pine over from these mats, even though I didn't have room. I mean, I could have put pine behind, but I kind of wanted to see some of the blue between, and I didn't want to make any of the photos that much darker. This one is going to have a flip flap put over it, so this photo is a little bit lighter. That'll be showing the majority of the time. I could have probably edited this and lightened it up a little bit, but... I didn't. So I think this is how those are going to go. So I'm starting with the two end pieces photos and then I'll work my way in. I did print everything with white borders. So even these two by twos. I printed with white. Poor little rocket. We lost him during some rapids. We were, he was strapped on, he was hanging on there, and then we. We hit some rapids and things got a little crazy and Rocket fell into the water and he's no more. So that was a sad day. All right. My title. I stamped Capture. If you remember um, a while back, I did one of my nephew at the playground and I used all those cameras. Capture was on there and you could do Capture Memories, Capture Family, Capture Smiles. Well, in my case, I just stamped out capture and then I fussy cut that. It doesn't actually come with a coordinating die cut. But then from my alphabet dies, I did stories. I thought that fit perfectly because this day was just filled with stories. Like, you couldn't make them up. It was so funny. Like, from right off the bat as soon as we got in the fish started jumping the there were multiple fish jumping but one literally almost landed on her on her lap so from the second we got into the water we were just laughing and had so many stories to tell so i thought capture stories would be fitting and i did stories out of this same glacier and then this is glacier stamping these little banners are from the punch outs from this collection. They're cardstock, but they're like punch outs. So I thought I could bring in some more of that pine and whatnot. I was thinking up here, but that's looking a little crowded. I could raise it up a little bit more. So I could do that or even over on this side. It almost looks like there's a little more room there. Maybe that would work. And then I have a lot of outdoor kayaking um, stamp sets. So from my stash, I stamped um, a kayak, and that's in sage, which is a coordinating color. And then I stamped explore every riverbend, just from my stash again, in glacier ink. 
and I cut that out using the spotlight on nature dies. So I was thinking I could kind of tuck that because I didn't, I cut it off. So I could maybe tuck that behind something or kind of create a cluster that way. It might be a little hard to read though, so I may not use this one. And I know I've used it on a lot of other layouts with kayaking too. So just to make my layouts look a little bit different, I may not add that, but we'll see how my clusters turn out. This is also from that Lake Life collection. And it's just a little banner piece that I punched out. And I thought that could maybe go over this and I could stamp on it or I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I want that, but it coordinates. Every, it's the right color and everything. Another stamp from my stash was this fish. And I swear this, this is the ratio of the fish in our kayaks. I, I'm pretty sure it was that big compared to our kayak. So I wanted to include a fish. I have the fish down here. And <laughs> I thought it'd be funny to make it look like it's jumping over a kayak. <laughs> but um, I may just do a cluster right down here. Maybe have another kayak that I stamped in Glacier with that. Okay, so I said I had some embellishments with the toffee. This is Fresh Air and Sunshine. I thought that'd make a cute title. A subtitle maybe since I already have capture stories but um, that would bring in some more of that pine and toffee color I have this little punch out with those arrows that could look good somewhere I have this little journaling spot and this punch out and those would look good layered or something um, so that's an idea, but I did type out my journaling already, so I don't really need this for the date. I could put the date and the where on here and keep it simple and maybe do something like that and have the banners kind of, I don't know, we'll see. And then from the sticker sheet, I have this little fish and a tube which that fits perfectly and then this little paddle so i'm not sure how i want my embellishments yet oh i also made um this little thin cut so my husband texted the group and said here's our river gifts of the day and he wrote them all out we got so many gifts from the river <laughs> it's rude not to accept river gifts and so, no beer this time. One time, it, the river did give us some full beers. Unless you count these, this family giving us beer, that might count as a gift, right? So, um, I used one of my thin cuts from my stash and made it look like a little notebook. And then I just trimmed it down. So, I thought I could add that to one of my embellishment clusters as well. So, we'll see. I had a ton to say about this day. So I typed it all out and um, used Avery Clear shipping labels. Thank you, Erin. I'm thinking of putting that right down here. So if I do a cluster, I might want it to kind of build around this somehow or keep it up here. I wouldn't mind just seeing more paper going across. So um, I'll adhere that after the fact. But let's go ahead and play around with these embellishments a little bit. this fish up on 3D foam. And I stamped adventure across this. I got a little off, but it's all right. It makes it look homemade, right? Got that little tube, and then I popped up capture. And then stories I'm going to adhere down here. I got this little banner done, and then this little cluster. So I just kind of added him right there. And I think I'm going to be adding some little glitter gems so I can kind of frame in my clusters as well. So I'm using my reverse tweezers and my Barely Art glue to adhere down stories. I did re-stamp Capture in pine ink. I just thought the pine 
added another color down to that cluster and I do like the pop of pine going around my layout. I have a lot of glacier and those lighter colors. I like to adhere my flip flaps directly to the page and then I cut my page protector. So I'm just going, I adhered these two photos together and I adhered them, you know, up, one upside down so that when I flip my flap, it, it's facing the right direction then. So we're just sliding that in and you'll have your top photo facing the, the sticky part. Okay, so we're just making sure that's all the way in there and then you'll fold this over to that back photo. And then we'll go ahead and remove that paper and reveal that sticky. And then I like to line up the photo with the photo because we don't want to see that bottom photo when the flap is closed. And you want to make sure that the picture's all the way in the flip flap completely straight. And there we go. And you can even use your little Cricut scraper to burnish that in. Okay, there's one. So then I'll just cut my page protector here and I can show you that too. Got these two backed on some pine since these are in pine. And actually it's gonna go down here. So I'm going to slide this one in. Make sure that it's all the way down and centered. Flip this over. And then we'll remove that backing. And then I'm lining up my pine frame to the pine frame under here. And then I'm just gonna take that Cricut scraper again and burnish that in. If you have a bone folder, that would work great as well. And there we go. And then I'll just cut that page protector there. So we fit four more photos on here that we wouldn't have otherwise fit. And then my journaling will go right down here and the, this just comes off, this just peels off like a sticker and then it's clear so you won't even see it. So I'm just gonna peel off half of it and get it lined up here. This side and then again your bone folder or your spatula or what's this called scraper and just burnish that in real good and I love how you can see the pattern paper behind it and it just looks like it was printed directly on to that pattern paper I have these clear gems Stampin' Up! has so many gems that you can choose from, but I kind of thought these would look like little water droplets, maybe. And I just like to put these in little triangles, and I'm kind of framing in my clusters. As you can see, I had tons to say, so told all the stories from the day. I really didn't go too crazy with my embellishments. I kept them pretty simple, used a lot of the stickers and I stamped just a few like the fish and the kayak here. I like the subtle touch of these gems and I like that I'm able to see the kayak and the tubes on both of those pattern papers. Let's go ahead and stick these in the page protectors and I'll show you how I cut the page protectors for the flip flaps your layout into your page protector ah. and because I don't scrapbook chronologically I have sticky notes on my page protectors so I can see where which pages are next to each other and whatnot and if I have a double page or a single page because I kind of know how many pictures will fit on a layout I use my ruler and my what's this called exacto blade Make sure that your layout is all the way to the bottom of your layout, or page protector. Your layout is all the way to the bottom. And then I line up my ruler 
to the edge of the flip flap. You can see through it. And then you wanna go just a hair above it so that you don't cut your flip flap. Been there, done that, not fun. And then you'll just run your blade across your ruler. And then I like to go up another hair and make another cut. You could also, you know, go down here so you can see where your first cut was and make another cut running along. And I mean, you could mark it first and um, so that you're not cutting your picture or anything, but just be careful, take your time. Don't use a whole lot of pressure. Use a sharp blade and you won't cut through into your layout. So now you can just grab out the that piece because we made two you lines. See that? I just have that little hair. Okay. And then and there's no damage done to my layout whatsoever. Can also check here and I do have a little bit more to trim off. So now when we go to slide this in, I'm going to grab that flip flap out and slide that through my slit. And voila, perfect. Let's do the other one. So I have my layout all the way into the page protector. I'm using my ruler and I'm lining that up with the edge of my... So here's my photo. The flip flap actually comes clear up here, that fold of the flip flap. So I'm lining up with that fold and then just a hair above it so I don't cut into the flip flap. And then you want to make sure that you go over far enough. So my flip flap actually comes out to here. My photo is here. Okay. So then I make sure that I go far enough over. And then same with this side, far enough over. And then you can just shift it up another hair and make your second cut. If you want to make a second cut, you don't have to. A lot of times you'll have enough room. Okay. So here's that little piece and I'll just snip off those ends. Oh, slippery. I think sometimes people overthink this and make it more complicated than it needs to be. I mean, obviously you don't want to rip your page protector, so you don't want to like be rough with it or anything, but it's not too complicated. All right, and there we go. All right, we'll go ahead and get this in my scrapbook. Until next time, live a life worth scrapping. Bye.